Hey guys, it's Targus from Targus Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to make this 100% fully automatic pumpkin and melon farm. Once you have this built, you literally have to do nothing, it'll just run itself. Uh, the way I have it set up is each side is independent, so you can have melons on one side, pumpkins on the other, you can have completely melons, whatever you want. The way it works is very simple. Uh, melons and pumpkins will grow along each side. As soon as one grows along the end here, the machine will automatically harvest it, and everything that's been grown will go down into those hoppers and into a chest. Same thing if it grows on this side, it'll pop up, and everything will go down along the water and into the chest. Very simple design, very easy to build, and 100% efficient. So now I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is set up your ending, the wall at the end of it. So you're going to want two blocks in the middle, and this is where your water is going to be. So you can go out and build two more on either side, and then in the middle there where your water is going to be, you can build up one more. Uh, and then right beside that, leave a block, and then build up war one more on the edge there. So now where these little divots are, in the grass here, you're going to want to build down one block, and you're going to want to do that for eight blocks. The reason you want to do it for eight blocks is this is where your water is going to be, and your water is going to flow for eight blocks uh, in a single stream, and you want a single stream to make it as easy and as efficient as possible. So now in each of these, you're going to want to go ahead and place a sticky piston facing up, and this is going to be part of the actual harvesting mechanism. So go there all the way along, and the same thing on this side. Now that you have that, you can go ahead and place dirt all the way along the top there. And then similarly on the other side, you can place dirt all the way along there. And then go ahead and add an extra row of dirt outside of that. And this outside row is going to be where you plant uh, the seeds for the stems in terms of the pumpkins or the melons. Now that you have that built, you can go ahead and place your water on the inside, and as you can see, it flows right to the end and that's exactly what you want. So at the end here you can place your chest, or you can have some sort of transfer system, however you want to do it, and then go ahead and put your hoppers going into that chest. And now this is the basic bottom uh, of, your, of your system. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go one back from here and build some stone or whatever you're using to build your building, it doesn't have to be stone, um, and go ahead and build it all the way along, just like so. Now on top of that, for all eight blocks on both sides, you're going to want sticky pistons facing in. So go ahead and go sticky pistons all the way along here, and go ahead and do sticky pistons all the way along this side. And then you can go and add in some stone, or again, whatever block you're using, it doesn't have to be stone, and do the same on this side. And then you can go ahead and finish your wall at the back here just by adding one more row of stone all the way along. And that is the basic outline of your farm. So this is what it should look like. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the redstone for it. So the first thing you're going to want to do for the redstone is set up your bud switches. A bud switch is a very simple block change detector. So if there's a block update here, it will set off the bud switch. So to start, you're going to want to place a sticky piston at the end of each of those rows in that hole that you left. And on the end of that, you're going to want to place a stone or whatever you're using, any block that conducts redstone. Now directly below it, you're going to want to place a redstone torch. And one block in front of it, you're also going to want to place a redstone torch. And do the same thing on this side. Uh, from now on, I'm just going to do the one side, and then you guys can just duplicate it on the other side. It saves time that way. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and place two stone, and then two more here. So you have three along the bottom and two up top. You're going to want one redstone repeater on the lowest setting, and then another one coming out of that on the highest setting. And then one more going into this block up here on the lowest setting, and go ahead and just connect that with redstone. And then as I said, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now coming out of the end here, we're going to want to go ahead and run a wire along here. And you're going to want a block along the back of all of these, and another block one out. So one block directly behind the pistons, sorry, one down directly behind the pistons, and another one out here. Now all the way along these pistons, you're going to want repeaters going into them. Um, usually what people will do is they'll alternate between a repeater and a redstone dust in order to save resources, um, but unfortunately this throws off the timing and it causes your farm to not be 100% efficient. Uh, so just make sure you use a repeater all the way along. And then the next thing is running the actual redstone. So the first thing you're going to want to do is place a redstone dust at the end here and then place two repeaters followed by the corner here and sorry you're going to want to destroy this one and move that actually down a block down here 
and then you're gonna want two repeaters. The first one's on the lowest, the second one you're gonna wanna move back to the second last tick here. And then after that, you can go ahead and run redstone all the way along the top, like so. And now your top row is complete. And so finally what you're going to want to do is place one block here and then go down one. Go ahead and hollow this out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move some space over here so that I have some more room to operate. And you want to place redstone dust going all the way along down here. Now the one that comes out of there, you're going to want to place a repeater and move it to the second tick. And then what I like to do is dig down the side here so that I can get access to it all. So you're going to want another repeater and move this one to the third tick. And then just go ahead and hollow this out. And you'll see that if you destroy this block, these are your pistons right here that are down below. So go ahead and put a, oops, I don't want to change that, a repeater going into each block. And then run this redstone line all the way along the back. And now, believe it or not, you are done. So let me just hop out of here. I'll go ahead and grab some some melons to test it with. So let's say we had some melons growing along here and it popped there and it harvests it. So that is that. All that you have to do now is you go ahead and you take a hoe and you grab some seeds. Go ahead and at the back here, you get it ready and you go ahead and plant them. Thankfully, because you have flowing water here, this will hydrate the soil. And then if you have some bone meal lying around, you can go ahead and speed this up, get your plants going, and that's that. So now you have a 100% fully automatic melon farm, pumpkin farm, however you want to use it. All that's left for you to do is to, if you want to clean it up a little bit, make it look pretty, maybe add a wall up front here so people can't see right in, add an access to it. Although you don't need an access to it because once it's up and running, it's 100% automatic, so you'll never need to come in this area again. It'll all just have to come to this chest. So that is all for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you come back next time.